<laughs> no! We are live. We are live. We are live. Did I say welcome to the main event? Oh. Grab that thing, Grab it off. Are you mad? Oh, man. Behave before you talk about what I'm talking about, yeah? Disclaimer! <laughs> Run that thing back. No, man. Stay there in your corner, man. Run that thing back, fam. I don't want to hear nothing from you. We are live, guys. I'm saying, Mr. Blitz Tech. Maybe the GS. Jay, one further disciples. And welcome to the Last of Us discussion of episode 9. The finale is finally here. All mad, and if you want to see the madness unfold with us, go to patreon.com forward slash the cyber nerds. Where you just want to go through the emotions because woo, it's been a roller coaster for sure. And yeah, man, just the madness. What are you man saying about back to today's episode? I wish more finales were like this. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? And and I say that in terms of like almost like the format and how the whole season's gone because today definitely feels like a bigger episode than the rest of the episodes, but at the same time. It didn't say we need to have bare explosions and be, do you know what I'm saying, over the top. Like, it tells a very, it's a very emotional, grounded, personal episode. And it's what you needed, do you mm. know what I'm saying? And I think it's fire, bro. Like, so, yeah, man, really enjoyed it. I think, like, they could have done just a bit at the beginning, the flashback. I think if they did the whole flashback before the title credits, like, move the credits mm. for the finale... That would have just been perfect. Mm. But, hey, legit episode. Oh. Hey. Still trying to recover from it. Bro. <laughs> I'm still trying to recover. Definitely one of my favourite episodes. I loved everything about this episode, man. Like, from the beginning, it just grabs you. Like, it just, it just keeps you, and it keeps you there throughout the whole episode. Ellie's birth, madness. Obviously, I never, I don't know if this is in the second game or not second part but this right here the way they just gave it to us wrapping it up towards the end with uh, the whole conversation with uh, what's her face Marlene Marlene do you know what I mean the things that were being said but not being said between Joe and Ellie oh mmm mmm and I'm, I'm I'm very happy they also gave us the, the giraffe scene which is yeah. one of my <laughs> one of my favourite scenes because in a world where it's like there's a lot of madness happening that is like that bright shining light of like not hope but it's just something good mm. that's still in this world. Do you know what I'm saying? Like the giraffes have have survived this whole time and they're here and just the whole scene they got it perfect. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, definitely one of my favorite episodes. Yeah, man, episodes is just, it's just mad. Like it's got everything. Like I'm saying, it's got like it doesn't need the explosions, but it has like the whole man's own hallway scene. Man's going through the hospital like man's Terminator after me. That <laughs> was legitly crazy. Like I, I like that. Like, no words were said as well. Just the music, even the music as well. Wow. And then the, oh, yeah. they got that perfectly. Yeah. Like I said, Ellie's birth. Just that little like backstory to how even her and Marlene have a relationship. To why Marlene then it's like more of a, like a triangle conflict now that mm. is between Joel, Marlene, and Ellie that. Ellie's like, oh, I'm on this mission to. Do you think you do... think you think it's like a trial? Do you know yeah. what? Yeah. From watching the episode, Joel's just out of pocket, bro. You think he's out of pocket? Hundred percent, bro. He's hundred percent. Well, I mean, like, hundred percent. Oh, oh, okay, why do you think he's, he's out of hundred percent out of pocket? And, and this and this is why I love mm -hmm. it. That what why they started with the Marlene mm -hmm. giving birth to um being the being given the mother duties of mm -hmm. Ellie because Marlene's mission mm -hmm. supersedes Joel's mission. Yeah, of course. But so drastically yeah. from the birth yeah. to the death, like uh -huh. he's bruv, he's here for like two weeks, a couple months. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, bruv, he's just that's why I say it's not a triangle. Because his okay. his the strength of him yeah. is in this factor, is not even part it's of not. it. And this is why I love <laughs> where we go in the next. Okay. Because I think that's actually it. Do you know what I'm saying? Like Joe's just a <laughs> I don't know how to explain it without destroying the second game. Okay. But I think Joe is more of a match. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. And this is like, this is him sparking up crazy. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? But I just don't think, I think that his his wants and needs are so small compared to the actual mission and the actual thing that that's why it's not actually a triangle, even though it has dramatic effect mm. on the whole situation. The reason why I say it's a triangle is because, like I said, I, I like I don't believe that obviously Joel's you say 
self mission supersedes everything because obviously, like I said, the triangle is Marlene had a relationship with um, the mum, mm-hmm. obviously gave birth to Ellie. And Tina has to get Ellie from A to B, and her mission was then, oh, this is the whole save the whatever it is. But she has to then sacrifice Ellie. Mm-hmm. She comes and has to sacrifice Ellie. Joel, obviously, he's just being selfish. You see it throughout the episode, especially in, like in this. Words ain't being said, but they're saying stuff to each other. He's now found his own right to like his fight to survive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's through Ellie. And yeah. obviously Ellie's thing is like, I have to die for humanity to survive, which is for everyone else. So it's like the triangle is just like this. Everyone's got their own ifs and buts, mm-hmm. but no one has seen each other's I, thing. You know I, what I'm I, saying? I hear that. And this is and this is why I'm I'm, I'm against it because Joe's the Joe's thing is so small. It is. It's and it's, but to his, but bro, it's his. Yeah, world. yeah, yeah. It is his whole world. It is that's his whole I'm world. I'm, I'm not so bringing. His, <laughs> I, that's what. No, that's what I'm saying. That's why it, I, I'm not giving. I'm not giving it the right of the triangle because his really actual wants and needs are actually so small. But they do have devastating. Yes, effect, devastating. Of everyone else, yeah, hundred percent. They have devastating effects, mm. and this is why I love where it goes from here. Mm. Because, bro, your little wants and needs, yeah. They, like you will realize how small they are mm. later down the line. <laughs> yeah. When you're when you're believing your whole world and everything that you want is the center of the universe, mm. what happens next is what happens next. Mm. And this is why I'm like, no, 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 no. The 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 real side of the triangle, it all gets put together later, basically. <laughs> Even bigger than wherever we're at. Do you know what I'm saying? And this is why it's like, yeah, man. And and I think this it, it it plays into some of the backlash with the second game, bro, mm. because because of the people playing the game, Joel being their whole world, mm. the yes. same way yes. Ellie is Joel's whole world. Uh-huh. When we go further down the timeline <laughs> and we see what that gets, you're just like, this is what like I, I'm fighting back to say so much stuff, bro. Like we got to do a spoiler one. We gotta do a spoiler. We got. We might have to do. We might have to do a spoiler one, bro, because it's like, yeah. I just, listen. Basically, what I want to say is, I love the scene mm-hmm. where he shoots the doctor. Mm. I love that. That whole where he walks in, my man pulls, picks up a scalpel mm. and says, "Bro, no." <laughs> I love that, and and the way Joe. Yeah, <laughs> I'm here, bro. I'm here for it. I'm here for repercussions. Uh, what do you think? Man? Is Joel right? Or... He's not. He's he's not right. Mm. But one of the things that, like, just it it broadens me more to to what's happening because obviously they've given us the beginning of of this of uh like right at the beginning with um Marlene, uh Ellie and her mom. Mm. Right. So to me, things have now broadened from just the game. In the game, I'm shouting my head, yo, no, Joe, no, Joe, no. Like, this is wrong. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? I hear what you're saying. Mm. Uh, but to me, it's more of like, because of Marlene being right at the beginning where Eddie is born, and I love this whole thing because it makes a lot more sense to me. It's like, yo, I was there at the beginning when you was born. I killed your mom. So, like, you know, beginning of a birth, end of a life, yeah? But then I also... I'm right to end your life to give life to humanity. Mm. Do, you, do you see how that works? Mm. So to me, like the way they just showed it and they, they managed to encompass everything to show us like, yo, this is bigger than just Joel's world. Mm. But then at the same time, the whole conversation with Joel, like when he, um, he gets shot mm. and he was like, yo, I was ready to go. Mm. But now he's not ready to go because he's got Ellie. Like, it's mad, bro. So, like, yeah, you understand why he's just gone off the rails with it because he's now found something with, which he hadn't had since the death of his daughter. Mm-hmm. But it's a madness. Exactly, this gives him man life. You know yeah, yeah he gave him life. I, like, 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 I, I don't like Marlene even <coughs> killing Ellie's mum mm. because it's like, if, he, if, if, if she doesn't kill her and she kills herself, like, with her killing herself and then being the one <clears> who's, like, handing over Ellie... It's almost like she's exterminating that line. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, and also the mum didn't know that Ellie was going to be the cure. Mm-hmm. So if the mum knew Ellie was going to be the cure and told Marlene, she's the cure, do, 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 do. Then I'm like, okay, I understand. Do you know what I'm saying? But it's just, it's just mad. And this is why it's like, it, it, it feels good to me 
where the game plays out to next or the story plays out to next because this it it, it shows a real world with, reper with real repercussions for things that happen to everybody. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? So that's what I needed. And understanding why Joel saves Ellie's cool. It's you know what I'm saying? We're here on a journey too. We love Ellie as well, bruv. But we can we get like, he can't get past his trauma. Mm. Yeah. And this is what I love about the episode when she's like, oh, do you know what I'm saying? Like, well, he's talking about, yeah, you're finding something to mm. keep living for and all that. Yeah, I hear you, bruv. <laughs> I hear you. But you should have found something else. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh. Like, you can't try and replace one thing with another thing what's not the same thing, bruv. And this is why it's gonna, uh, we're going to go to where we're going to go. Do you get what I'm saying? Uh, for me, that's why I can like you is because obviously, like, I've been fighting through this like, the whole season where it's like, you kind of cut that off or you had to, you had to like stop all kind of emotions or whatever. Like you didn't want really to be that guy anymore. You just wanted to be like, not wanted to be, but they, even in this episode of Bring It Here as well, we're like, you keep saying he's capable. She goes, oh, five men trying to go across the country, even though I barely survived. How did you do it? I'm like, you're shit, like you've been saying this. So when previous episodes are saying that, oh, man's old and he's red, bruv, once he finds something to fight for, man's, you see him Tell in the hospital. Share focus. <laughs> That's it. Unstoppable, bro. So this episode, when they brought it back to that, like for me, he's just like once he just found that that yeah, smidge, bro. And I like it as well. And I, I like it. Yeah, I like Did it as well, as well, because I think we had been discussing the whole season. Like, is he inconsistent? Is he not? And I like that with this episode, they show that it was today was the day. Mm, like, okay, it yeah. was legitly the conversations that he had today. It was the end of the mission being today. Like. Everything happened today. The same thing what happened with him trying to shoot himself mm. happened again today. Mm -hmm. And this is why I think also some of the decisions at the end between him and Marlene, I didn't really like, bruv. Like, where they're like, oh, Ellie's getting prepped already instead of having Ellie coming to say... Do you know what I'm saying? They left that Ellie's decision away. Mm. So it's like, these two are fighting over her. Do you know what I'm saying? And I was just like, I think that could have been handled in a better way and still have him snap. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Because it was almost like... They was they had kidnapped Ellie mm -hmm. and was doing it against her will. Mm. And even when Marlene says, you know she would have done it, even you didn't ask her for permission anyway. Mm -hmm. So you're giving Joel more reason, <laughs> it, well, more justified reason to do it. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, so I think that could have got tighter in terms of, nah, they did everything right and Joel snapped. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? But they still got Joel snapping perfect. <laughs> even without all of that. Do you know what I'm saying? So... Bro, fire episode, man. Oh. And I'm really gassed. Bro, I'm so gassed for season two. Mm. I want a 20-year time jump or 15-year time jump and I want us in there. Is there, is there a time jump? Yes. There? Yeah, there is, yeah. Yes. Yes. I want it. Like, I don't even want no lay lay. Like, you see where we ended? You see the village, yeah? They've been there for 15 years. <laughs> Boom. Throwing snow at each other. You remember that? <laughs> Dina, get the street walker out here. <laughs> get me. I'm here for it, bro. Oh, oh my days. Yeah, yeah man. Oof. What? Yeah, today's today's episode really took it there, man. Really took it there. Yeah, that's, I like. I'm just glad the way it ended is is good. Like very good at adaptation of the game to a TV show. And for me, most of the the episodes that are straight from the game to the TV show is probably one of the best ones, except for the the DLC one. That one just felt very out of place. God knows why. Just mm. just felt a bit. Yeah. Even with this, even with them trying to link it back to this episode, mm. it felt kind of weak. Mm -hmm. It felt super weak. And it's it's interesting like it's like that. But I guess they wanted to have the inclusion of the DLC mm. in the in the season as mm. one of the most pivotal stories in the game. So I'm not mad, but I don't know why that didn't hit yeah. as 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 much as it was supposed to, you get mm. me? That's that's the one with the mission with her friend, right? Yeah. And about. even the fact that, yo, we was talking about leadership Ellie, leadership Ellie the mm -hmm. whole season. Mm -hmm. And now that's what I'm saying. It, it led to nothing. Like, so it's just almost empty dialogue. Mm. Like it, like how good this episode does even pokes holes at some of the earlier episodes in the season. So mm. like we, and I, and I like that we had picked up on the whole, yo, why are they saying this? Why are they doing this? When it leads to actually nothing mm. here. So, it's interesting, man, but good season. Yeah, really enjoyed it, man. Yeah, just looking forward to season two now. It's already been green lit. It's all a bit mad, but um, yeah. What are you guys' final thoughts and uh, rating on the episode and the season? It's a five for me for this episode. Like I said, one of my favorite ones. I like how it just broadened me to like other storylines as well. Obviously, with Marlene, her birth, 
to at the end of the, the episode as well. The things that were being said and not being said at the same time. The music during the hallway scene. Obviously, the giraffes. Like, I love. I just love the giraffes. I know this. There's just something about it, bro. It's just something about it. Just warms me inside, isn't it? So it's a five for me for the season. I'm probably gonna go with four point five. Four point five. Yeah, because I think there's there was actually a couple of episodes I gave it like a four. Mm. So yeah, four point five. Uh, I think for the for the finale, I'm I'm hitting it with a four point five. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? I think it's a really good finale. Wraps up the whole season. Good characters, like everything that happens in the finale is legit. But I also think it pokes holes at some of the earlier episodes, mm. like that and things that we had announced. So I can't like <clears throat> But this episode's fire. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. It is. So I'm giving this a four point five and I'm giving up It's really, really good. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? But I don't think it's like get like things in there. You can still see them trying to tweak things like and it doesn't it doesn't flow so that you're just like they're like hiccups and they and they're big ones they mm. do you know what i'm saying so i would say on that it's a two mm. there's less there's less things for them to try and change do you know what i'm saying i think i think there is I think there is. I don't I, after no go on, go on. No, I mean I wanna hear what you gotta say that. Like. No, after watching this season, like, you can tell that they are trying to implement things to change going yeah, forward. Yeah, that's what I thought as well. You know nah. what I'm saying? Like the whole leadership thing, the whole like this hot doe's heart beating thing or whatever, bro. Like this Nah, see, oh like, see. Not, oh, not saying, exactly, see, see, but you, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah, like now. they they did it so And this like, is why I can't get this is what okay, this is why the season won't get a five. Yeah. Because of those things, because we're put like these are big the humps I'm talking about. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I hear what you're saying about them potentially making change in the mm. next, but they didn't make the changes here. Yeah. This, and this is what I'm saying. This is what I was this is what I'm thinking. In the next season, they might not make changes either, mm. like the real drastic changes, mm. but just throw in trivial stuff like they've been throwing it. And this is what I'm saying. Mm. Four. Mm. Four. Like I feel like you're with me in what I'm saying <laughs> but I think that they're not gonna I think they're just throwing stuff out there like the leadership yeah. thing led to nothing mm. how does that lead to anything in the past in the next season mm. if it does it's gotta lead to something past the point that we know of yeah do you get what I'm mm-hmm. saying because nothing before then says, the says that can happen mm. do you get what I'm saying so and now we're talking all meta and stuff but <laughs> get me yeah so for me I would give the episode a five it had like everything dialogue the acting was sick, the music, the scenes, the set pieces, like it just felt like very, very good. Like I can't fault this episode at all. So like for even for now, like you said, like you didn't have to have these big, like massive moments. And if they were, they weren't like the usual like massive like explosions and stuff like that. So super sick episode. And yeah, I'll give the season like a four because it's got those episodes where they are good, they're solid. You can tell that they have just been like you can't miss with those. Like, they also usually want from the game as well, where it's like, they're so set that you, you don't need to just drip feed anything else. And if you have, then it's something like introducing Ellie's mum and that situation. That, for me, seems super, super sick. But then there's other parts where Doll's having heart palpitations because he's scared. And then man's running for a whole epic, like a whole... Uh, what do you call it? Hospital, bro. It's like... It's oh, like hospital, what? Metal Gear Solid. You see Metal Gear Solid when he's going through and he's stressed. Oh, they That's didn't have none of, none of that in this that, episode. Bro. None of that in this episode. I just needed the Ellie juice, bro. If man was off, bro. Like, That's what we were talking about. It was on the Ellie juice, bro. bro. Nah, and then, like, like I said, like the whole freak, like, leadership thing, like, she's like, what? 12 or something, bro. What? Talk about... I see the leadership quality. She's done nothing. Even if he just upset cabs that she was in. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, the characters they've introduced, Dave, like even getting the voice actors into here. That's beautiful. Super sick. That's beautiful. Like, I'm glad that you, That's you guys are still in the circle That's like beautiful, that. Yeah. Super, super sick. And there, the blower. Man's still running around out there. Can we see him in season two, please? Nah, we've got bigger things in season two. Oh, no, we haven't. We've got true. bigger things in season oh, two true. coming still. Oh, yeah, man. Between now and then, I have to play the second part. Bruh, you got, you got, I don't know, wait, maybe 2024, maybe? You got, you got some time. Oh, no, I'll be yeah. playing the second part uh, this year. Like, right not, yeah. not far along, yeah. But, uh, yeah, man, just, yeah, CGI or practical effects, the Super giraffe legit. scene, Super like, legit. set pieces, everything above the season is, like, is a very good drama. It's a very good drama, but just, 
things here and there is, is a bit, meh. but as game adaptation as well, one of the best out there. One of the best. So yeah, man. So episode gets a five, season gets a four. Super legit, man. The Last of Us. Guys, let us know in the comments down below. What do you think of The Last of Us? This episode, the season, things going forward, season two, talk about all them things there, what you already know, what's right there. No, episode, no, boy. Interviews, them things there. And yeah, we'll see you on the next one. I'm Sam, Mr. Blitz Tech. Revenue GS. Jay Wonford, the Cybernodes. Peace. Oh.